Meet Kelly, a regular guy with an extraordinary power, the ability to make his imagination come to life. In this particular instance, he conjures up a unique scenario involving his classmates, Dominique and Sarah, in a classroom threesome. Surprisingly, they find themselves stimulated by Kelly's imaginative prowess. But let's take a step back to discover where Kelly's power originated. A few months ago, on a mysterious evening around midnight, a man named Fluger stumbled upon an ancient grave in the woods. As he unearthed a human bone, a magical bolt struck him, catapulting him over the side of his vehicle. With an evil laugh, Fluger drove off, now endowed with magical abilities. Now, let's shift our focus to Kelly's life. He faces bullying from jocks at his high school due to an eating disorder called pica, which makes him crave non-food items. Dominique, Kelly's friend comes to his defense, but the bullies go so far as to put Kelly upside down in a trash can and pour soda on him, recording the humiliation for the school website. This leaves Kelly feeling embarrassed, especially in front of Dominique. The next day, the aftermath of the video surfaces, leading to widespread mockery at school. Kelly, already struggling with his unusual diet of ramen noodle lids and erasers, falls ill. His mother, concerned for his well-being, seeks medical help, but the doctor suggests that Kelly requires psychological assistance rather than just medical attention. Simultaneously, we discover Fluger's magical healing abilities. Despite his questionable methods and profit-oriented motives, he demonstrates his powers on an elderly woman with back and leg pain, turning her pain into joyous relief. Kelly's mother, desperate to help her son, approaches Fluger for healing. In a surprising twist, Red Delk confronts Fluger, accusing him of stealing powers from an ancient grave and foretelling a grim fate for the healer. Ignoring the warning, Fluger attempts to heal Kelly but tragically dies in the process, passing on his magical abilities to Kelly. With newfound confidence and ease, Kelly stands up to his bullies, surprising them when their attempts to harm him backfire. One bully, attempting to strike Kelly with a piece of wood, ends up feeling the pain himself with each blow delivered. Kelly lands a job at a pizzeria, and when he gets home, he excitedly shares the news about his new powers with his mom. She's amazed at first but quickly advises him to keep it hush-hush. The following day at school, Kelly makes a curious discovery if he eats something that belongs to someone else. That person feels the effects of whatever he do to himself. In a quirky twist, while sitting behind Dominique in class, her scrunchie falls onto Kelly's table. Playfully, he eats the tag before returning it to her. Here's where things take an unexpected turn. Kelly's imagination runs wild, and both Dominique and Sarah experience surprising reactions. It gets a bit awkward, and Kelly, feeling embarrassed, makes a quick exit. Later, at a bonfire party with Dominique, Kelly faces the bullies again. This time, he stands up to them and even laughs at one of their jokes. Guess the soccer team coach and a father of two bullies, steps in and tells them to cut it out. After the party, the bullies spot Kelly on the road, chase him in their car, and accidentally run him over. Remarkably, only Brett, the driver, is affected by Kelly's magic. The others flee the scene, leaving Dominique and Sarah to catch up with the bewildered Kelly. They inquire about what happened, and Kelly spills the beans, explaining the whole magical ordeal. The next school day, Kelly and Dominique share a moment over cake, discussing the accident. Dominique mentions that the police believe it was a malfunctioning airbag that caused the mishap. In a heartwarming twist, they lay the groundwork for a potential romantic relationship as Dominique encourages Kelly to ask her out. That evening, while taking out the trash at Grazie's Pizza Place, Red Elk confronts Kelly about his powers. Kelly, not holding back, spills the details and hurries back to work. In another twist of events, the bullies decide to play a prank on Kelly by pulling his trailer off its foundation. This leads to a dangerous situation as the gas pipe is ripped from the wall, filling the caravan with gas. Kelly's unsuspecting mother, napping on the sofa, is startled awake. In her panic, she breaks a lamp, causing a spark that ignites the gas, resulting in a devastating explosion of the caravan. Returning in the nick of time, Kelly attempts to rescue his mother from the wreckage, but it's too late. Overwhelmed with grief, he carries her burnt body outside, 
falling to his knees in agony. Later, Kelly finds himself in a hospital bed, staring at the ceiling in shock. Miraculously unharmed, he faces the harsh reality of being placed in a foster home since he has no next of kin. Red Elk appears at the hospital, accusing Kelly of stealing magic powers. The sheriff remains skeptical, but Red Elk assures him that he knows where to find Kelly when he's ready to believe the unbelievable. The story takes a heartbreaking turn as Kelly grapples with the loss of his mother and the uncertain path that lies ahead. After his mother's funeral, Kelly seeks solace by visiting Fluger's grave, stepping away from the crowd. Dominique, a caring friend, approaches him, expressing condolences about his mother and letting him know that he'll be heading to a foster home. Before he leaves, she kisses him, offering comfort. In an unexpected turn of events, Kelly eats a leaf from a peculiar plant growing on Fluger's grave and falls seriously ill. The sheriff shares unsettling information about his mother's death, suggesting foul play rather than an accident. On the way to the foster home, Kelly connects the dots, suspecting the bullies who tormented him might be involved in his mother's death. His suspicions grow when the bullies taunt him as they pass by. Unable to tolerate it, Kelly jumps out of the car and disappears prompting the sheriff to search for him. Kelly realizes the bullies are heading to the creek and decides to follow them, seeking revenge. Discovering them swimming and drinking beer, he seizes the opportunity to retaliate. Kelly employs his magical abilities, first affecting one bully at a distance by eating a piece of his shirt. Subsequently, he strangles himself with the shirt, leading to the drowning of the bully. Fleeing the scene as the sheriff gets involved, Kelly becomes a fugitive. That evening, Dominique's mother, cautious of Kelly, warns her daughter to keep the window closed. However, Kelly appears at the window, prompting a conversation where Dominique urges him to seek a confession rather than resorting to revenge. In an unexpected turn, Kelly bursts into science class the next day, demanding a confession from one of the bullies. The accused bully attempts to retaliate by throwing acid, but it backfires, melting his own face. Fleeing the scene, Kelly faces another challenge when Sarah, dating one of the bullies, learns about the incident at the funeral where Kelly fell from consuming the weeds. Believing the weeds are Kelly's weakness, the bullies decide to use them against him. Spotting two of the bullies and their father, Gis, on the soccer field, Kelly steals clothes from the sheriff's car and confronts them. The situation escalates as Gus takes the sheriff's gun and the bullies weaken Kelly with the weed spray. In a surprising twist, Dominique intervenes, asking Kelly to stop the attack. Seizing the opportunity, Gus turns on the sheriff and takes his gun. The bullies, eager to eliminate Kelly, instruct Gus to shoot him. Despite being weakened, Dominique manages to mitigate the effects by cleaning the liquid from Kelly's shirt. The confrontation ends with a shocking turn of events as Gus shoots Kelly in the head. In an unexpected turn of events, the bullet meant for Kelly ends up taking an unexpected route, ultimately causing the demise of Gus and his son. Kelly miraculously emerges unharmed, but Dominique, overwhelmed by the tragedy, blames him for the deaths. Faced with the weight of the situation, Dominique issues an ultimatum, threatening to break up unless Kelly agrees to accompany Red Elk for a ritual that will disconnect him from the power. Eventually, Kelly consents and lowers his weapon. The sheriff and Red Elk take them to Fluger's grave to perform the ritual, and Dominique reassures Kelly that everything will be okay. During the ritual, Kelly undergoes intense suffering, but it proves ineffective. The power has become an integral part of him, acquired over an extended period. Shockingly, the only way to separate him from the power is through death. Kelly manages to free himself from the handcuffs and attempts to escape with Dominique, but a police officer intervenes, shooting them. Tragically, Dominique succumbs to her injuries, but Kelly, thanks to his magical power, survives. Despite his efforts to save her, he acknowledges the severity of the situation. In a desperate bid to renounce his power and embrace death, Kelly consumes Fluger's heart. As the power leaves his body, Kelly experiences a retrospective slideshow of the numerous deaths he had avoided. Ultimately, he succumbs to the inevitable, dropping dead with a bullet hole in his head. In an unexpected twist, Dominique wakes up in an ambulance, 
instantly recovering from her wounds. The narrative concludes with a light-hearted note, thanking the viewers for watching the video and encouraging them to leave a supportive thumbs up for the channel. The sign-off promises to see the audience soon.